okay now uh, let's look at something called decoding error so till now we have seen all the flip flops and all uh, how they are connected uh, to make a asynchronous counter now take such an example i am uh, i am taking two bit triple down counter with positive edge trigger clock so all of them are positive edge trigger imagine and there is t flip flop two t flip flops connected and uh, output of one is given to input to the other clock okay so positive edge so i hope you are able to imagine the circuit now i am representing it with one big box box inside this imagine those two flip flops okay i am taking out two outputs q0 and q1 and feeding an input clock and the another clock will be feeded by the first flip flop to the other one right so th this is how i am representing it now i am taking a 2 cross 4 decoder active low type output and enable is always uh, zero so it is always enabled with these two out inputs i am generating outputs t0 d1 d2 d3 you are already aware of 2 cross 4 decoder uh, for 0 0 this guy will be zero for 0 1 sorry 0 1 msb is this lsb is this 0 0 d0 will be zero and rest of them will be one for 0 uh, 1 d1 will be zero rest of them will be one for 1 0 d2 will be one, zero and rest of them will be one and for 1 1 d3 will be zero rest of them will be one right active low type output so that is how a decoder will work and uh, you you will see why i have taken a decoder just to show you these glitches this decoding error that's why it is called as decoding error you can think of it so ideally what should be the output uh, should have been uh here i have made and with delay what will be the output here i made so practically both the two flip flops will be having tpd tpd time delay right propagation delay of each flip flop will be tpd so this will be the actual output here you will see and what was ideally expected was this output i will explain both of them so let's see see this is your clock four clock pulse this first time explaining the idle condition okay without any delay means if you are imagine your both the flip flops are not having any delays and they are producing output instantly so this is your clock cycles four clock cycles and the positive edges i i have marked because this is a positive edge triggered you can see q0 will change its uh, state at every clock edge positive edge of clock because it is lsb lsb connected to clock uh, will change uh, at every edges uh, positive edge it will change its state so 0 1 0 1 0 similarly q1 will change its state when there will be positive edge in q0 right so here once it changes state another here is changes state so q0 and q1 now depending upon the value of q0 and q1 these guys will be uh, these output will be generated so you can see when q1 is msb q0 is lsb so when 0 0 d0 had to be 0 so it is 0 here and rest all the time it is 1 okay again here q1 and q0 become 0 0 that's why it became 0 again okay so whenever there will be 0 0 this guy will be activated and activated means d0 will become 0 and rest all the guys will become 1 so here you can see d0 is 0 rest all of them are all of them are one i have made it wrong should be like this okay so you can see uh when uh, q1 and q0 are 0 0 which is here and here uh, your d0 becomes 0 and at all times it is 1 okay uh when your uh, when q1 and q0 is 0 1 so here you can see 0 1 d1 is 0 and rest all the time it is 1 right here you can see when it is 1 0 which is uh, here you can see in this duration your d2 is 0 and rest all the time it is 1 and when 1 1 which is here you can see d3 is 0 and rest all the time it is 1 so you can see they are activating at different times um d0 is activated here and here 
d1 is activated here d2 is activated here d3 is activated here okay so they are not overlapping d1 d2 d3 and d0 is outside this range so that is the ideal expected output uh, from the from this circuit uh, here okay depending upon the clock but what you will have actually is this output because both the flip flops will have tpd delays so what will happen you have this clock here but q0 and q1 is generated with a delay you can see this dotted line here it was uh, changing its state here itself but here there is a delay that's that delay is tpd so with this same signal is shifted with a tpd delay and this is how it looks like now q0 is feeded as the clock to next flip flop and next flip flop also is having a tpd delay so q1 is same as this signal same as signal but shifted two times tpd okay two times tpd here tpd and then there is one more tpd so total two tpd delay occurred and if you will have more flip flops then accordingly the delays will increase so you can see that there is a change in the uh, output the wave looks similar but the timing is different okay when you have these two outputs uh, uh, here what are the what will be the outputs here then you can see this is same same signal same signal but shifted shifted okay similarly you have d1 here small glitches there you can see why because here the value of here the value of q1 q0 is 0 0 so 0 uh, here also it is 0 0 so 0 but all the time it is 1 so 1 it is there but here you can see momentarily q1 is 0 and this is 1 so 0 1 means d1 will be activated so for short duration you have d1 activated here okay with very small short duration that's the problem uh, caused by the delays okay the signal is same d1 is same as this signal but you have small glitch here okay because you have delay here it is q1 is 1 and this is 0 1 0 means this guy will be 0 so here momentarily it is 0 so exactly same signal but you have some glitch here so that is called glitch for short duration pulse it calls it is called glitch the long duration pulse is required similarly if you look at d2 there is no glitch here it is similar to what you have here but just a delayed version but d3 if you will see it is same signal delayed but here you can see a glitch is produced because here for momentarily purpose one zero is occurring one zero means d2 will be d2 should have been activated but this guy is activated now okay so for momentarily purpose here one zero sorry one one it is one 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 means d3 is activated for short duration it is calculated right so i hope you are able to see i mean it is very difficult for me to explain but because of these delays you can see there is a momentarily one zero here that's why d1 is getting one and here momentarily one one is there so d3 is getting one ideally it should have been like this like this but you are producing small delay uh, glitches right so this signal is same you can see and this pulse 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 but you have this short uh, duration which is called uh, glitches or spikes you call okay so this is something you don't want in your output so that is a problem now next i will tell you how to remove this problem uh, it has to do something with this uh, signal enable signal instead of keeping it always enable uh, we'll provide a signal here which is called strobe signal and uh, uh, we will see that will solve this problem okay it have, you have to visualize it uh, so that you will be able to convince uh, how this problem will be removed so i'll apply that signal and i'll show you the reason why why that will work okay so yeah i hope uh, so watch this video again and again if you are confused i mean uh, because of the delays uh, you are um, may, uh, you are getting unnecessarily different sequences uh, which you are not required and that's the problem uh, so that is called decoding error okay how to remove it same thing we will see next